number 11 this goes like this from the following data the market returns and moon company shares return is given for a particular period calculate first one beta value second one if market return is 2 what would be the script return script return means moon company share return so there are two questions there in to be calculated for so values are given for index returns and moon company returns index is the market we take it as x and moon company share we take it as y i have given the note in the earlier videos also how to identify x and y y is always the company one and x is always the market return it may be bsc nsc or whatever or indices so these are the values given in the problem. So first we have to go for totaling of x and y, then we can go for the remaining. The total of x column if you calculate it is 5.4. Total of y column is 4.5. Now I have to go for calculation of x square. So whatever the value you have given here in the x value, we have to multiply into the same number or the square one and the same 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 0 0.25 similarly 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 again 0 0.5 square next 0 0.6 square next 0 0.8 square again 0 0.5 square 0.8 square 0.4 square 0.7 square so these values has to be squared here then we have to go for the next column x into y x into y we have to do 0.5 into 0.3 similarly 0.6 into 0.6 0.5 into 4 we have to do the multiplication there 0.5 into 0.3 0 0.15, 0 0.6 into 0 0.6, 0 0.36, 0 0.5 into 0 0.4, 0 0.20, like that. If you go on, we will get the values like what I am writing here. So we have to be very careful because it's in the points when you are multiplying you have to be careful. Then total x square column as well as the x y column. So total of x square is 3.4. Total of x y is 2.82. So we have to total this. Then we have to go for calculation of beta. The first question. So n is the first thing, how to identify n, number of pairs of data here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So n will be 9, so we have to multiply that with summation x, y, minus summation x into summation y, 5.4 multiplied by 4.5. Next, again divided by n, n is 9, summation x square multiplied with 3.4 minus summation x whole square. Summation x is this, 5.4 whole square. Then check once, are the values are right? Most of the students don't write this symbols. When you are substituting, you may go wrong. So you have to write the symbols when you are substituting it is going to be easy for you to identify and remember whether you are done right or wrong. You can check also once. Let me go for simplification. So 9 into 2.82 
and then minus 5.4 into 4.5 and that we have to simplify if you simplify the whole information straight away you get beta value of 0.75 so beta value is taken for calculation of the second question what has been given if the market return is 2 what is the moon company script value so with the help of one we will be finding the other one it's called like a regression equation so market return is x script value is y so with the help of x we will be finding y so here the beta value will be helpful so alpha is not known but beta is known here for us beta is 0.75 so we have to also know x x is 2 so we have to go for calculation of alpha to go for alpha we have to go for two calculations first working and second working first working is x bar and y bar so summation x divided by n so 5.4 divided by 9 then summation y 4.5 divided by 9. So here you are going to get 0.6, 0.5. You are wondering why we have done x bar and y bar. X bar and y bar is required for calculation of alpha. So alpha when we go for y dash or y bar 0.5 minus beta value again 0.5. 75 multiplied with x bar 0.6 so when we go for simplification we get 0.05 so this 0.05 we will take it here and find the value of uh, y so when we do simplification here we get y is equal to 1.55 that means When the market return is two, the moon script value will be 1.99 returns. So we can conclude like this. When market return is two, then moon company script. return will be 1.55% so if the market return is 2% moon company returns will be 1.55% each